Ah. You're convinced that that's what you are, then? It's true, the evidence does seem to suggest that. But I think a certain degree of skepticism is in order. Tests, not superstition. That's how we'll find out exactly what you are. Anyway, you ask me what I know. I'm more familiar with the Cyrodiilic legends than the Nordic ones, but I'll tell you what I've read. Though some scholars on Solstheim dispute it, the first definite use of the term Dragonborn is attributed to Saint Alessia back in the First Era. The story goes that on her deathbed, Alessia made a pact with Akatosh, who infused her with his divine blood and granted her the Amulet of Kings. Akatosh then sealed off the Plains of Oblivion, banishing the Aedra and Daedra from the surface of Nern forevermore. Or at least, for as long as one of Alessia's descendants sat on the throne of Cyrodiil and wore the amulet. From then on, Alessia's descendants were known as Dragonborn. Of course, that line ended with the death of Martin Septim during the Oblivion Crisis. But he turned into a giant dragon and kicked Mehrunes Dagon back into the Deadlands, which seems to have confused things. Anyway, skip ahead a couple of hundred years and here you are, supposedly with that same dragon blood in your veins. The somewhat primitive Nordic myths claim that lets you absorb the soul of a dragon, which we've both seen you do, and channel it into a shout. But as far as I'm aware, no one ever saw any of the dragonborn emperors do that. Maybe you're related to them. Maybe the gods just like you. In any case, as I said, I have a feeling we'll find out more soon enough. Let's get back to it.